Technology should. Technology will. Technology can save lives. And that is the concept behind the Oletsi Mock Prison Riot and Emerging Technologies Showcase. This spectacular event is hosted by the Office of Law Enforcement Technology Commercialization and the National Institute of Justice and is held in conjunction with the National Corrections and Law Enforcement Training and Technology Center. Oletsi is a world leader in the advancement and commercialization of technology developed primarily for the public safety markets. Committed to the merger of research and private industry, Oletsi strives to put affordable, market-driven technologies into the hands of law enforcement and corrections personnel. The vendors here have a unique opportunity that uh, is unsurpassed anywhere else in the world. Most of the time you go to a conference, the technology sits at the table. In this, you have teams from all over the United States, international teams, observers from all over the world. And they have the opportunity to get their technology into the hands of the operational user and use it in a near real scenario. Nowhere else can you go do that. Each spring, Oletsi hosts one of the most spectacular events known to the corrections and law enforcement communities. The purpose of the Oletsi Mock Prison Riot is to exhibit cutting edge technologies and to give corrections officers and tactical teams the opportunity to use and evaluate these technologies and prototype products in realistic scenarios, many times even before they are offered on the commercial market. Doing so helps to determine the true effectiveness of the available technologies. The mock prison riot is very important to us because we're talking to the people that can use our devices. When you, when you visit people in, this, in these industries and you expose them to a totally new technology, the thing that they want to see is they want to see the visual, show me what it can do. Which language? Begin Russian. Begin Russian. Illegal. Illegal. We deal with против закона. Very lightweight, very comfortable. Gives you full protection over the front portion of your leg and about 15% on the side of your leg. Doesn't happen to get a blow in the water. It is the combination of opportunity and education that makes the Oletsi Mock Prison Riot unrivaled worldwide. I do an average of about 30 shows a year, but I've yet to find an organization that has taken the time and the effort to put together something like this, which is as close to the real thing as you can get. The pulse-pounding realism of each simulated situation drives the team to perform at a level far beyond that of any other mock event. With a vast arsenal of innovative technologies, literally at their fingertips, officers can evaluate their level of performance without the threat of deadly consequences. In return, the technology manufacturers receive valuable feedback from their end users, the corrections and law enforcement communities. Since its closing in 1995, the former West Virginia Penitentiary has acted as the dramatic backdrop for the realistic tactical scenarios. With its gothic walls of stone and its cold steel cells, the facility plays a key role in the authentication of the experience. One of the best things the mock prison ride does is allows the teams to see how other teams handle situations. We have 19 participating teams here, and so there are 19 different ways to handle a situation. And it was about as lifelike as you can get without actually having the real thing. I want big dog. <laughs> Verify and where he's at. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get him out here. Ready tonight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Over the last eight years, law enforcement officers, corrections teams, technologists, and inventors have traveled from locations all over the world to Moundsville, West Virginia, and the former West Virginia Penitentiary for this unique event. We came because we heard a lot of guys they come to our jail, they talk about how great this activity is, so we had to come see for ourselves. We didn't have any money for the trip other than we got a state vehicle and a gas cart. So we drove nonstop from Carson City, Nevada, all the way to Wheeling, West Virginia. The trip was 37 hours. We're going to be there no matter what. Whether we get funding, mm -hmm. we have to pay for it ourselves. Whether we have to wash cars or dig ditches, we'll be here. You just simply can't find that many around the country that are of the caliber providing resources like you're going to find here. Morning workshops and professional certification classes provide insight into the latest tactics, techniques, and technology certification. You have to do what we call shrimp crawl. Does everybody know what that is? You push off, and then, now I get my leg in there. Oh, now it comes forward. Now I'm up now. And if you know him, well, <laughs> That's where I get my cuff from. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> for more information on this year's mock prison riot, or to register for the 2005 event, visit us online at www.oletc.org or call the Office of Law Enforcement Technology Commercialization toll-free at 1-888-306-5382. There is no fee for participation.